Hello right, everyone and welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian tonight along with Please submit the team trick here at your service and thank you for the follow, Axo from Axo. <laughs> That's actually a pretty nice name, yeah. Thank you for the follow. And welcome back to <clears throat> Hard Space Shipbreaker, our 14th stream of this. And uh Yeah, last time we didn't <laughs> last time we got started on a big ass ship, but we couldn't finish it. And sadly, we didn't get any story from reaching the next point. But with some luck, we should be able to hit the next point after finishing up yeah. well, the current ship and uh, tearing down another one. Because we seem to average about one and a half ships every stream these days. Yeah, and we did get some story last stream. Good morning, True, this more, more of the uh, AI madness stuff and such. <laughs> Yeah, and talk from Hadas. That story came up in the middle of the stream. Yeah. How he is still just mucking with people, and how he actually thinks he's the good guy. Okay, let me double check. Um, I'll repair this thing since we have a plenty of repair kits, and if at any point we run low, we can just. Uh, yeah. <laughs> we can just. <clears throat> get some more in some smaller ships. For now, I'm upgrading this because as it gets damaged, the heat capacity becomes lower and lower, so the chance of us accidentally burning ourselves becomes bigger. And yeah, it'll be good to actually be able to just completely melt certain panels to get rid of them. Okay, let's continue with this one. So is the maximum amount? Yeah, shut up. As long as we get over half a million each day we're good i hope you're rested there kato don't want to repeat it yesterday yes mr rhodes let's practice some on the fly problem solving go get that reactor uh, he's going to get blown yeah, up but this reactor is so different what did we say about disagree and commit commit to the reactor Yes. Uh, uh, I just need a minute. Yeah. Don't rush now, Kai. Don't mess it up two shifts in a row. Okay. 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 Okay, I got it. No, you don't. Damn it, Kato. Back out of there. Quick lack. It's melting down. Oh, shoot. I'm sorry. Okay, at least he didn't get killed this time. Vaporize a highly valuable object. He wasn't ready. You've been pushing my crew too far. We cannot have insufficient training of our teams. You're the one breaking protocol, making a skip training. Don't talk to me about protocol. Someone's got to foot the bill for screw-ups like this. I'll be more careful next time. You can just add this to my desk. Oh, I already have, kid. Now, I want you to punch out so you and I can have a one-on-one -on -one discussion. Y yes sir The rest of you can carry on. Cato and I need to talk. Okay, I think we'll have to sacrifice a bit here, but... Uh, he's blaming other people for the stuff he is causing, and I think we'll have to cut that thing through. To at least salvage some of it, because it seems like the... Yeah, it looks like the furnace has a stronger pull. It, that didn't break it. Okay. Uh, oh, really? It really just didn't cut through that tiny little bit over there? Okay. Then... There... Okay, that's going to destroy some of it. And that's still not enough to salvage it. Come on. We've got We've got three and uh, four tethers, uh, tethers trying to pull that thing in. Valuable component incinerated. Don't do that. 
Wait, pull it in, you say? Mm. Yeah, uh, what part are you trying to pull in? Yeah, the tethers are trying to pull it away to the other side so it can escape oh, the flow okay. there. But, uh, I think I'll have to cut this part loose as well because it's also holding it back. Oop. Need a bit of a better angle than that. Let's not end up in the in there again ourselves, really. Okay, at least we can disarm these. Actually, I should just disarm both of them. Okay, Cutter. I got the new design in front of me. Uh, but... Looks like there's still a trick to taking them off. Go ahead. Give it a try. All right. Didn't quite work. But we still have all our fingers, so we're going to call that a win. Yeah. Oh. Okay, I think I get, we need to we need to press the button while go, it's in there. Nice work. Now, do that 500 more times and you'll be a master. There we go. Some of it lost, but oh well. A good chunk is still going into the processor where it belongs, and. Yeah, I'm guessing the furnace just has a further reach with its pull. Okay, there. Okay. Now. Let's finally plug these things out. Okay, it must be empty because it's so light. And, yeah, then it should mostly be just tossing the frames into the furnace. Let me see. Anything as a small things like that. And Wait, the reactor something. covering. Can, can you use, use the uh, color vision again? What Fuel is, tanks. is that a meteorite or a person? It's an asteroid shard. All Must right. have gotten wedged in there at some point. But I thought I was wondering, was that a meteorite or but like first I think I thought first it was a body bag. <laughs> no, I don't think they'd go that far, and looks like these could use a shove. Uh, there. There we go. Okay. Uh, by the way, hmm? uh, you know what Intrius did? Yeah. I think we may look into that uh, at some point. For I think you said it wrong again. Okay. All, all the same. Let's just continue parking. Hard break hmm? again. I think. <laughs> Maybe. Wouldn't be too surprised with how often I just completely miss say the name of this game's of this game. Yeah, and I am sitting here unsure if you did, did say wrong or not. For I'd be so used for you to say it wrong. <laughs> Uh, so I'm almost ready for it to happen. <laughs> okay. Now, just send you off. And once that's out of the way... We can... Oop, hello there. Bit of coolant pipe. <laughs> okay. Want to make extra sure that you get to your destination and don't end up in the furnace. It's a very dense rock, a ton on its own. Okay, uh, I guess the game is probably going to complain about it. Material Rather, deposited. mission control is going to. But yeah, Hal has not a single leg to stand on with the discussion. Of, he doesn't have a single leg to stand on with complaining that people make mistakes when he specifically forces people to act you know, to, to do work they are not trained for. Yeah, and then complaining that they don't haven't taken the training when he's the one forcing them to skip training. Yeah, that, that's exactly what I said. Oh yeah. Oh, the airlock console was in something. Oh well, that's a bit of a bigger loss, but still not too big of one. Okay. Actually, 
I'm let's try to... this one see, for these. I have a few friends who actually today is not to play Deep Rock. And I feel like I have a, something I need to teach them. <laughs> the first time that they run into a Dreadnought is going to be fun. And yeah, I think this is actually the better way of getting these loose. Is it still attached? Nope. Okay, yeah, that, that is a lot easier, just getting those things out. Okay. No, you are not going into the furnace. You are just plain nuts. Okay. You <laughs> keep going. Seems they are happy for what I taught them. Okay, and that is what you always rock and stone. Well, if you press V, you will say rock and stone. So yeah, you want to not fall a lot too <laughs> far. <laughs> Almost mistake. Caught it. Yeah, this what happened is I, I told them uh, oh press V and something else will happen, and they were just then say they were happy to could sh drink and shot beer, but then once they saw my message, they easily shouted. Rock and stone! <laughs> oh, God. I do have to say that I'm a little bit worried about the other games that uh, they are making, but at least I have hope that they, they're not going to screw up DRG. And, and at least one of them looks like it'll be interesting. There's the Survivor clone, that one I don't have much interest in. And then there's another one that's basically like a roguelite survival horror version of DRG in the deepest parts of uh, Hoxies. Yeah, and let's not forget the board game. Yeah, I forgot they made that. Like, it's a, it's a bit uh, cute. How some you know, how some games like that get uh, board games. I know Age of Mythology had one as well. I, I did not know. And mm. I don't mind them having more games, especially that takes place or the same universe. Yeah. But that means they can expand. Like they're probably gonna focus on the dwarves, but they can can expand to well, what else is there? And uh, yeah. <laughs> do. I should probably say this. Just because they can't doesn't obviously mean they should. They, they should if they can handle doing it. Yeah. But it is a big step. Let's see, there's a light in there still. Yep. Okay, that one went a bit further than expected. That one's perfectly in position. So that should finish those. There are nothing else here. There's only a single light. Actually, no, there's more than a single light. There, this is better for this. Yeah, there's a bunch of... Uh... There's a bunch of consoles here. These are still worth a decent... <laughs> okay, I had a bird moment there. Just flying into glass. Okay, give me that. Okay. I just Once noticed the mirror. Hmm? Go ahead. Uh, sorry, go, uh, go on. Uh, that wasn't really going to say much. Uh, right. uh, I was just realized that I'm drinking my bubbly peer drink and I'm about to eat a peer as well. Oh, they, no, they was I'm not going to dip the beer in the drink. Dicks. Uh, it doesn't. Right. I just imagine how it would look to use a bubbly pea drink or a parry, aka pea cider. I just have a big slice of pear on the side of a glass. Let's see, it's only a thousand, but still. Actually, get so moving you. Do that with a peer. 
Actually, what was it called mm. you just put a slice of fruit on the side of the drink? I'm not really sure. Yeah, it, it, it's okay. not garnish, is it? That might be it. If you're garnishing your drink. What is this here? That's yeah, asteroids. Why is it? Oh, it's at the back there. I completely missed. There and there. Okay. And that's all the links tokens we can get out of this. Okay. And yeah. With one more ship, we can get the next level and more story bits. Okay, just gotta wait for this to speed up. Oh, wait, is it? Is it too wide or something? No, it is still moving. Okay. Let's speed it along. Tether supplies running low. There we go. We can just refill those. No tethers remaining. Yeah, stay under 9.75 to avoid injury. Material accepted. Credits transferred. Welcome to Vendatron 9000. Tethers. Tethers yep. And that's practically everything. Just gotta wait for everything to dis uh, to disappear. And there, there's still a few. Uh, actually, no. I th wait a minute. Is that just? No, it's just a food pack. <laughs> okay, we can leave that behind. Okay, lost a bit more than usual. But we still made what? millions what? in a Someone says food hey, No! 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 <laughs> yeah, seven I million. I for focus on someone else to be a bundled food pack. You monster. <laughs> uh. All right. Do worry what they're going to do with Kato. But it is nice to see that Weaver is standing up against Hal. Yeah, that puts him at risk as well. Some people dream of great sort of right? While other people get up every morning and make... Got her. Yep. I need to talk. Kaido's been up here going on two years now. Kid can't hit the broad side of a gecko. You've seen how he is. But you know what? You tell him, Kai, you need to scan before you cut. And he says, yes, sir, I will. And you have that conversation. A hundred times. And you know that every time he says that, yes, sir, I will. You know he means it. That I put him in this position. Should I have set him on his way years ago? 22 years of length. Don't even know what a lame old dog like me would do other than this. I'm, I'm blabbering on. What I wanted to say, Cutter, but the bobcat and whatnot. Yeah, I may be wrong about that. Weaver up. Okay, at least he's admitting it. And Weaver is an example of middle management who actually functions because they give a damn about their team. They try to, well, help them improve, even when that is very difficult for some. Yeah. Uh, but still, they, they want them to improve. Uh, Hell just wants to cut him out like he's a cancer and just leave him adrift to suffer on his own. Okay, nothing that needs repairs really, but we can get a few more of these, it looks like. Uh, thrusters, yep. Okay, these things are really going to slowly degrade now. Oh, purchased. Okay, we can purchase them now, which, uh, since we rent these stupid things, even though we have to use them daily, that is going to cut down on our daily costs. 
Uh, but I'm still going to prioritize the duration bits. Let's see, we need 19 for that. Oh, we can purchase this one. Uh, or not. Oh, we, we don't have enough points at the moment. We need 207. Uh, thrusters, we can purchase that one, so let's do that. That's going to save on a... Uh, that's going to save on the daily <clears throat> on the daily costs okay let's see what sort of ships we have available today let's see a javelin yeah. a heavy cargo industrial um, it's only 11 29 35 for a stargazer but, but, do remember we do need some extra parts like we do need more wires True, and we need to keep the uh, <clears throat> the MP in mind as well. This one would pay well, but the MP is lower than this one. So I think, I say we go for, well, the Javelin. It's been a bit since we've worked on one of these. <clears throat> the, yeah. <laughs> the damn thing pokes so far. Let's focus in and have a day now. Hi. You good? Mm -hmm. Yep. Cairo and I had a real good heart-to-heart -heart yesterday. Right, Kai? Yeah. All good. So, what's the punishment? Doc pay, a form of write-up, no sugar cubes for a month? Nothing. No punishment. Bullshit. I just needed to talk mano a mano. What does that even mean? Keep mouthing off, Steiner, and you'll find out. Oh, okay. Well, I'm glad y'all figured it out. Let's just get back to work. Yeah, he's, he's threatened him with something. Which is not going to help him improve at all. Because then he's even more nervous. Because, well, that's the thing with Kaito. He's nervous as all fuck. Yeah. Okay. Let's pop those. There we go. Much cleaner cots. I don't like that sound. I think people aren't supposed to like it because, well, it <laughs> it's an explosion going off in zero G. Oh, I mean, more like the uh, weird static sound it makes. Yeah, that. I think it's the uh, the synth the sound synthesizer getting overloaded for a second or something. Yeah, for, it sounds like. Like here's the thing. I have heard that sound before. But the more of a when a PC is, it, I don't think this happens anymore. But sometimes people's PCs, like uh, the speaker such, could react uh, the, to a cell phone. Okay, yeah. So, like, if you hear, suddenly hear that sound coming from your speaker or anything else, like a, your, just your computer, you should have it right before you have a call on the telephone or an actual phone. Like, you know, a. Yeah, the old have the local. The yeah. landlines and such. Yeah. Okay. Let's remove that. How is the... Oh, all of this is pressurized. Okay. Should still be able to work with all of this. The thing with these javelins is, is that they aren't as so big as geckos. But they do have their hazards more openly exposed and such. Um... Captain? Hmm. You know, you have ever seen a gecko? The, the ship type. <laughs> <laughs> That's a new one. Uh, what did you say? A uh, new poster. Uh, it's you mean the okay. wrote new poster on the poster? The poster on the wall. Let's see. Power generator. 
Anything of interest floating around in this bit? Or can we just start blowing out the airlocks? Let's see. Nothing here. Okay, this one's rather specifically clean. Uh, yeah, we still need wires, so we can tear out one of these, one of the smaller consoles. Okay, um... Atmosphere regulator there. Okay, there won't be one out... Yeah, there shouldn't be one... <clears throat> Uh, between the between the hull and the inner shell, and this one's broken anyway, so pull that off. We can still sell it though. Pardon? So activate. Air pressure level decreasing. Let's open this one up. Airlock depressurizing. Okay. Oh. Something sparked these little bits. Okay. Luckily, all of the fuel is outside. Uh, wait, outside? Yeah, so there, there's no fuel on the inside here to go boom. Are they in the tanks or... Did you leak them into space? What, do you, what exactly are you talking about? The fuel? Yeah, that's still in the tanks over there. So that's not going okay. to go boom unless we screw something up. Okay, yeah, I'm just going to be sure for... The idea of leaking fuel into space sounds like... A bad, bad idea. idea. Especially this close to another spaceship. Oh, station? Mm -hmm. What are we on, actually? I guess it counts as a station. It is stationary and all. Okay. Yeah, th this thing just gets really freaking close to this, huh? Okay. Yeah, concerningly so. There. That should hopefully be enough to get you in. Ah, screw it. Better to be cer uh, certain than to have to worry. Now, just get these out. There. Now, you... Just push you out a bit. And then there. Actually, I probably could have left those connected, since they all go into the processor anyways. More to the right. Okay, no lights or anything. Okay. There we go. Now, let's get to the rest of this. There. Oh. Right, that was still up. <laughs> that, that was still uh, pressurized, but oh well. Nothing of value was lost, otherwise, we would have been complained at. Okay. Oop. So, yeah. See? <laughs> Depressurization can still surprise you like that. Yeah. I thought you, you almost did that again. <laughs> yeah, these just... These connect straight out to space, so nothing to depressurize to. Well, there wasn't any... any what? Yeah. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> it just takes off like a slow rocket. <laughs> I do wonder... If the uh, if the size behind an air behind a, a breach like that has an effect on any of the how, how fast it gets shoved out and such. 
Nimm du hier schon mal den an, nimm du Comical. Ist das Klick worthy? Yeah, don't think so, but if anyone's watching, they're free to. <laughs> Actually, there's something here on the mobile Twitch stream manager here. Stream marker. That is supposed to mark stuff on the stream for later finding. I'm not entirely sure how, yep, how it works, but I may take a look at that clip, at that to maybe take a clip out of it, or more likely a highlight, since it doesn't make let you make clips later on. Okay, almost to the first mark. Oh, no, we already have the marker. I've got it. Refill my drink. Oh, wait, my pint. Okay. Uh, so, um, don't die. Let's yank that that way. Free this. Oop. There we go. Oop, I thought I had both. That way. Okay. Now then, let's finish these cuts here. And yes, I'm sort of trying to just go from the back to the front with this one. Though I may take a stop on that to just deal with the reactor before that might become a, a problem. Hmm. Actually, what sort of reactor does this one have? Another I reactor. Now, I think so far we've only really seen javelins with class 1 reactors. Okay. Yeah, 10, almost 100k on that. 60, okay, let's, let's break the smaller one then. There. It's a small little cost, but it's the next stop for a space truck. There. Okay. You don't have anything attached to you. Nope. Not anymore, now that the airlock came loose. Okay. There. You. Heads. Hmm. up a bit and to the side so the tether doesn't break okay tether's going to break i think or not okay i did that just to make sure that it didn't run into the fuel tank because that would have blown everything up or might have oh, blown wait. everything up depending on this how fragile those things are as you realize those big orange tubes or the fuel tank uh few tanks, right? Yeah, we, we've we dealt with them a few times now. <laughs> I thought I it'd be a bit them more obvious. A while. <laughs> I also don't realize, oh, those are bigger than the other few tanks we did recently. Okay, pluck these off. Big boom! Is it concern here? Yeah, especially if the entire system went up in one go, since this is an extra large tanker. Yeah, and yes, people, I almost called them tonks for some reason. <laughs> okay. Not sure what relation they have with the Harry Potter character, but okay. Uh, wait, what? Yeah, there's a what Harry the Potter character about? called Tonks. But at least that's her uh, last name. That's not the Tonk I'm thinking about. <laughs> the one I'm thinking about them with tiny tanks. Okay, there and there. Yeah, th this does become a whole lot easier once you've get uh, some uh, s some upgrades to the strength of the grappler. Oh yeah. Okay. The, Let's pluck the, a few the out. strength of it also means you probably should also be also a bit more um, careful. careful. <laughs> yes, that's what I just said, uh, Captain. <laughs> yeah. But for just moving big pieces around, it is just really freaking useful. Oh yeah. Okay. 
Hello. Two of the fuses. Okay. Morning. Yoink. Okay, we'll get that refilled in a bit. Almost too late. Yoink. I really don't need to bother with these things since they're like only three cents. But still, every little bit helps. There. Okay, <laughs> that was its shadow I saw for a bit. Hmm. Better actually think about it. Whenever we're cutting something, the game also has to recalculate the shadows for a lot of things. So that could also be why it just stutters at times when we do a big cut. Yeah, for... It's not going to need to only track it down the items that flew all, all everywhere. I was going to keep track of everything's shadow. Yep. There. Okay, there's a few more of those in there, I'm pretty sure. But for now, let's get this thing. There. You. And let's not cut that yet. Let's see, I remember with the javelins we had to do a bit of a nuisance cutting some of the bits loose to be able to move the framing around the uh, fuel tanks and such. That'll probably still be the case. Okay. Off you go. No. Okay, a few more around here. Okay, that's the second one done. Okay, that's going. Ease it along a bit. Okay. Now, all of this should be able to come off. Or, no, it's... Actually, yes, it is. Okay, that that's easier. <laughs> Hello there! Uh, I it's, cannot <laughs> read the Xterra. name. <laughs> Xterra. Hey there in chat. Uh, oh, sort of having, let's see. Full, uh, sort of having fully upgraded demo charges or burning away some of the Adeline panels. Yeah, that's a real bitch. Also evening. <laughs> How are you doing, Xterra? Yeah, and I do think I have these upgraded to the max with that. It's hard to read dark blue text on a black background. Let's see, same shit, different uh, day, yeah. Okay, come on. What is getting, what are you getting stuck on? Or are you just being difficult? Like the world's most disagreeable jiggy. There we go. Okay. But yeah, uh, you've been playing this game as well, Nix, right? So what, you know, uh, any hints at what part, part you are on? Um, yeah, I'm at uh, certification level 18 at the moment, as you can see. And well, Hal has been being an ass, as usual. I think I need to give this thing a few more shoves because it's pulling at the javelin entirely. Wait, hold on. Is it moved you, you're sending a giant ring away, correct? Yep. Or giant lug knots. Well, congrats. <laughs> Not that kind of ring. <laughs> oh, that'd be an interesting wedding. Do you take this beloved spaceship, the space station, to be. <laughs> uh. Okay, let's finagle okay, this thing out. Hmm? Uh, we already have the wires. Oh, alright. Send you off, and... Okay, I think the thing has been displaced somewhat. 
Let me see. Hmm. Maybe I'm just wrong. Also, hello and goodbye. Okay. But yeah, uh, we're basically stripping this thing out from the front to the back. Though I will detour towards the... <clears throat> I will detour for the reactor once this part has been mostly done and well the fuel system since I do need to check if this thing has a level 1 or 2 if it's a level 2 then it's going to be a bit more difficult Warning. Fuel are okay we can solve that easily there Okay. Thruster fuel and back. Okay. Oop. Come on. Get on over there. Okay. Now, when we cut these through, we can toss the first half into the furnace after maneuvering it around everything else. There's still a bit or two in there to get out, but I'll grab that after this is loose. There. Okay. Now the only thing keeping this to the rest is the airlocks. So, let's get to removing that. <laughs> what? I'm nervous at this. We're not getting to the fuel just yet, then you can get nervous. You know, you work with, with a reactor nearby, well, I don't know, just how many liters of fuel? <laughs> uh, plenty. <laughs> there, and there. Okay. Trying not to cut into the walls to have any floaty bits around. And okay, that should be everything. Okay, just need to empty this thing out. And I think I will just melt the bottom for that. Not enough. Not enough still. Okay, really? <laughs> okay, gotta keep an eye out. There we go. The moment out of range appears is when it's been done. Yes, yes, shut up. There's much more valuable parts to get out of this thing. Come on, there. Probably should have done that earlier to get the other stuff that was in here as well. Okay, sometimes it still won't really push if I'm up if it's right up in my face. Okay. That can go into the furnace. These, however, cannot. Along with the little bit of extra piping that for some reason is in here, but not connected to anything else. Hmm. It, come on. Like, Oop. think about it. Would it be stupid to not have spare piping? Hmm. Maybe, but... Not too sure if it would be too usable. Like, if there's something wrong with the fuel system on this thing, I think a little bit of extra piping isn't going to really help much. Uh, more of a replacement. Hmm. Like, sometimes you can't just repair the pipe. But other times you can't have a pipe so damaged that you need to replace it. At that point, you want a spare pipe around. True. But, uh, yeah. We'll leave it up to a weird design, I th guess. I gotta say, it's probably for a logical reason. So, uh, yeah, actually, yeah, it makes sense because you know, an other space station like we talked about before, micro comets. Salvage 
That's Okay, just some bits here. Bonk. Might as well bring it out if I'm going out. Okay, now where's that light gone? There's that light gone. There. Okay. Last light, and then all of this can go into the furnace. Last check. Oop, there is a something in there still. Food bag? No, it's a battery. Okay. There. Okay, now let's pull you aside. Okay. Yeah, that's every, everything of value gone. Okay. Now, let's get these down there. It's going to miss. Okay. Hmm. Okay, that's far enough, I think. Processor. Barge. And the last bit. Okay. Now, let's get you to the other side without getting you stuck into the processor. There. And to help keep you somewhat straight. There. Okay. The first part oh, gone. How many mutants are there? Let's see. Let's not have those in hand for accidents. Four here. Another four here. Another four, so that's tw 12 fuel tanks. Wait, are they all... What the, he, he, do you see now why I'm nervous with you dealing with that reactor? Okay, there isn't a central fuel system. Okay, so there's no way to empty them out. Let's see, uh, Xterra, here, there's a shit <laughs> loads of them on bigger javelin tanks, yeah. <laughs> God, no! Why? I'm a little so prepared now. Now that I couldn't. Yeah, I'm gonna need to work on how to keep the captain away from those. Okay, does this one need. This one needs to be depressurized. Actually, okay. haven't you accidentally blew up one of the big ones before? Yeah, because the. <clears throat> Because of these things, and because these had too big of a well, an area of effect, and hit one of them. Okay. Oh, okay. That mistake oh, made. I oh. I pulled the power supply out too early. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's a bit of a a rookie mistake. Then I guess we're going to find out if the amount of air inside one of these is going to have much of an effect. That's an atmosphere regulator gone. We can miss that. Okay. Can't really say if it moved much. So that was actually a somewhat safe breach. <laughs> Oh, God. Nope. Okay, that part just did not want to belong here anymore. What? Where the heck did it go? Nope. Right there. Nope. No time for a meet and greet. Bye bye. Let's see, Xterra, when it comes to tanker javelins, the tanks are just attached by two G1 cut points each. Stinger's your friend. Okay. Uh, really? This little... Oh, all I really needed was a... Yep, we can't even squeeze in through that. 
Okay, that looked a bit weird. What? And still attached. Wait, 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 wait look closer. Oh. Do you see the yellow? <laughs> <laughs> okay, that explains why it was still attached. Yeah, for all of it, it was still not attached to that little tiny bit you cut off. It was actually loose. It was thinking... Yeah, that, that damn thing there was the reason it was still up there. Yeah, oop. Get going, you. Let's see, you don't have to vent them or such, but those bastards heavy. Yeah. <laughs> okay, and it does look like we're looking at a, a level, t a, a class two. Though so this one is right here. Wait. There's no fuel attachment, so this thing has only the ECU. Okay. Is that, what is that going to mean? Is that going to mean that it's at two thirds already? No, that means that this is a more vulnerable one. Okay. But she was still... Yeah, should still be pretty... The fuel's on the other end. Oh, right, because there's a thruster at the end, of course. Uh, let me see. There's not really space to, <clears throat> to squeeze through. Or is there? Just enough. Okay, yeah, there it is. Okay, then we can take care of this. Watch this be the one time... Uh, right, unpowered. <laughs> okay, oops. Well, at least... <laughs> at least it's a very compact system. So it shouldn't be... It's not going to be too diff... It's not... Yeah, it's, there's not going to be things bumping around. Also, where are you there? Um... What are you going to do, Captain? Yeah, we'll just have to cut off... Uh, we'll just have to make an opening and get that thing out ASAP after we pull the coolant, which is at least going to make it two-thirds of its full life cycle. Now let's see, Xterra, engine cut off. Uh, yeah, you're going to be losing that unless you're dead with the cuts. Uh, if, if I can just peel it... If I can just peel everything off... Uh, and there's no real, uh, real blockages. I should be okay. Hmm. But, yeah. I, sh I should have gone for the... Uh, I should have checked the systems first. Okay. For now, Hi. let's work on these fuel tanks and just oh, get no, them out of the way. No. On the other side of the room. <laughs> um, take over. Hmm. You actually give you you're actually giving me a bit of an idea there, Xterra. Uh, if I just throw the entire system into the into the barge, uh, it should count. It well, hopefully counts the uh, reactor the moment it comes loose from everything else. But would that mean that the reactor and the barge is actually a good place for disse disassembling stuff like that because it'll get counted as well collected immediately? And then it basically gets put into stasis. All right, I also need to pull you sideways to get you loose in the first place. Actually, you are light enough, or rather the grapple is strong enough to maneuver you around. Let's oh, see. God. Okay, yes, you can yank the stuff after the reactor is nullified. Okay, I'm, I might try that at some point. For now, let's peel these things off. There. Okay. There. Okay, these are actually a lot safer this way than the entire fuel system. There. Get you loose. And get you going. Uh, let's see. Sure, but it's a bitch to get the shit out of the barge. Yeah, it is, because that thing sucks stuff in just like the processor and such. But at least it's a lot safer. It's not going to go nuclear in your face. So, yeah, it's just a, it's pros and cons. Yeah, it's true. It's safer than the captain. You know why I said that. <laughs> yeah, I've blown you up a good amount of stuff done. here. 
<laughs> and I have so no we... regrets. Or as Postal would say, it no regrets. You don't miss one? Wait, what? <laughs> okay, a bit more, and go. <laughs> Let's see. Your earlier mistake was separating the hull before yanking the engine. The hull itself is treated by the game as the conduits through which the juice flows. Yeah, and we also pulled the, the, the power generator out, which also didn't help. Wait, the juice flows? Yeah, power, the, the energy, the uh, electricity oh, right. inside. <laughs> I forgot use is a slang for fuel at times. Oh, oh, would you call it a slang? Uh, shorthand, maybe, not really, you know, slang, maybe. It depends a bit on who you ask what slang actually stands for, or is. Yeah, yeah. slang for electricity. All right. Yeah, I'm usually not, I'm not as unsure about slang for... Some people, it's a, a neutral word, but for others, other trade slang is a very negative word. <laughs> and all of this talk about slang has reminded me of something. Uh -oh. uh, because in Dutch it means snake. <laughs> oh right, I recall telling us that in slang it means something else. <laughs> uh, a hose. Well, it's, it's also used as that. Uh, maybe it's some... If we're talking about a garden hose, then in Dutch it would be tuinslang. So yeah, snake snake is sometimes used as slang for hose in Dutch. Yeah. Uh, wait, what? Uh, okay, so ex there. You're the good drug here. Thank you. I'm a good boy. It happens, and typically what you're thinking of is a. Pejorative. In. in I am not familiar with that word. Uh, basically, like a uh, slur or something would be, uh, to put it cruder. Uh, all right, yeah. Yeah, um, I have seen slur is a bit strong, online. but... Yeah. Hmm. I'm actually thinking yeah. we might swap to javelins, because this is coming apart real fast. It's only been half an hour. Yeah, I think I've met the many people who think slime is that word. Let's see, insult or root terminology. Okay. Where right. did that completely missed? Okay. Right, again, One more. Need, uh, people use, try to change every word to something it's not, or they try to take a serious word and misuse it. Just to get the ends mean and all that. Okay, that was a very movie fuel tank there. Uh, Let's see. It's a lot of furnace and processor stuff together. Hmm. I might just I might just take a guess at what's worth more and just chuck it all into one or the other. Probably the processor. But that might cost us that might cost us a bit. In the uh, in the salvage, and see that that's called malapropism. Mala, yeah, malapropism. Uh, all right, so that's it called when people are misusing words uh, to change them uh, badly for whatever reason. There, and it's. All right, yeah, then I'm correct, yeah. That, that's probably my main reason we don't, today's problem, oh, well, mainly. I'm not gonna count with many problems modern day, but it does feel like it, that's one of the things that sometimes for me complicates things, but that sometimes makes me wonder what to say at times, where I'm, I don't want to accidentally offend someone on all that. And that may yeah. end with today's things going on makes it even harder if that makes sense uno dos tres cuatro cinco says okay was that correct counting mostly i i don't know if 
I had six correct there. X might be able to correct me because I think he's better with Spanish. Okay, that was correct. Yeah, for I I, I think I only knew the three, the, the three first ones. I did not know the rest. So I wasn't sure if we were do, doing a rhyme or something. I think the only reason I might have gotten that right was because of uh, a children's song or something. Or not, not really a children's song like a lullaby or a nursery rhyme or something, but just a, a kid's song that used to play a lot around here or I had a CD of or such. All right. Hmm. Okay, just cut all of these. Okay. Uh, wait, did you say it was Spanish? It, yes, it was Spanish, I think. It was Spanish. It was Spanish. Let's see. Hmm. Okay. And, 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 I haven't studied Spanish, but I did buy a Spanish book, so I thought it could be good to have. Now let's see, Drakir, I deal with a lot of ESL folks and I'm a real stickler for clarifying shit, so you can usually usually be sure I'm not trying to bullshit you. <laughs> and oh, when he is, it's for... very obvious. Uh, what did you say? And, and when he is bullshitting you, it is typically very obvious. Yeah, that's all that's I've been trying to do. If I'm trying to tease him, I try to be obvious or you with something that's not too serious. Uh, yeah, I usually try to make it obvious. But yeah, it, it, uh, respect to you there, Xterra. <laughs> oh, bloody heck, it's so... I'm actually going closer to my skin just to read the name. <laughs> okay, I, I, might, I might look at changing the background of that to more of a, a grey. Might make it yeah. easier to read some names. Yeah, for at the moment I can. Yeah, at the moment I probably. It, it, yeah, okay, yeah. If I'm bloody hell, I need to be very close to be able to read that name. Is mm. it my I'm getting very close to the mic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can probably just call them X as well, for short. Uh, X. Yep. Really? <laughs> Not to be confused with Chemical X from the uh, Powerpuff Girls. Um, right, there was that. I was thinking of... Wait. The other X. Wait, is that a villain called Mr. X? Probably, but I was more thinking of a certain site who everyone still refers to as Twitter, and I will never officially refer to as X, just to spite uh, a certain someone. Oh... I keep forgetting the shinks it though. What do they want people to call it, actually? Uh, it's, it's just uh, the idiot in charge who wants everyone to call it that, because Basically, anyone, <laughs> anyone uh, with any well credibility just calls it Twitter still. And uh, what does he want them to call it? Is X? Yep, because he has some stupid idea in his head to make, uh, which he apparently has had for a decade or two or something, to just make an everything app, which is just not going to work. Uh, that sounds like a problem. Big. Yeah. 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 Yeah, that's gonna just be a lot of hassle. And, all right. All right. Yeah, there, there's also Mr. X there, who is who, who proved to be a better nemesis than the actual nemesis. I thought that one was ringing me a, a bell for that damn terrifying thing. <laughs> Hello. Uh, mistook that for a looser bit. Okay, did that, that bonk. Okay, I guess I slapped myself with the plank there. <laughs> Typically, you slap someone standing behind you when you turn with those. I think you, I think you using, you're not using plank correctly, Captain. You're supposed to walk on it. <laughs> now, when when people are carrying them, that that's old gag. That's any time that someone with a you know, holding a plank on their shoulder. When they turn, they are just going to slap someone with it. 
Oh, God. Yeah, uh, definitely we definitely should gray up the chat box for it. Okay, I clarify. This is what it looks like due to the how to read background uh, due to the two colors not matching well with each other. For had Hillian not pointed out what it actually said, I actually would probably accidentally have called Xterra uh, as a shaw rat. <laughs> okay, that's a new one. Again, it's so hard to read. And it's so blurry due to the dark blue and black black round. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I'm just glad Hillian put it out before I read it out loud for... Yeah, it's so hard to read. Okay, let's collect all of that at the back for now. So Wait, I can just continue okay, stripping this off. Okay, Hill, I need you to translate. What did they say here? Uh, uh, bro... And... <laughs> bro, keg? Like, bro, what? Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, I can, I can read the white text just fine. Do it again. It stands out with the background. <laughs> Yeah. But yeah. Dark blue with black background is so hard to read. Come on. It's like a freaking ring game. Mm. Uh, looking back a bit. Uh, X, Terra, I've heard them all. Uh, yeah, there's a bad guy called Mr. X. He's the pursuer from Resident Evil 2. Elon has had a long-standing boner for the letter X, and he wants to turn Twitter into an Elon-flavored you know, version of WeChat. Yeah, wait, he wrote something more. Uh, uh, actually, I don't know what gender they are, so... Uh, <laughs> sorry if I got the gender wrong. Uh, he's a guy. Uh, all right. It's, Mr. Uh, Keg is a, an emote of a Spaniard uh, comedian, El Recitas, delivering his signature wheezing laugh. Okay. It's you. What is? Do they mean the the one people made a meme of? Maybe. And okay, that's the outer bits. Can I? Uh, 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 they they also give they can DM us. Let's see. Uh, go ahead. Yeah, I, I'm sure we have. I'm not sure we should do some Dungeons and Dragons in midstream. It's, okay, that's just moving the oh, entire wait. damn thing. I, I, I'm the direct message, not Dungeon Master. <laughs> okay, this should be doable. I, I have a feeling I have a guess what they mean. I just probably mm. didn't know the guy laughing in those memes were a comedian. <laughs> okay. And now for some reason I'm reminded of George of the Jungle. That uh, scene with the uh, guides, I'm going to guess. It's been a oh long ass time since I saw the, the throw back the, your head and laugh bit. Oh yeah. I was not too big of a fan of the movie as a kid. But I did love the guides. For that felt like a, such a good burn. And it's a, it's used even today by some people. As a clip and such. Uh... Okay. This is going to be a bit more obstructed than I like. But... Um, actually... Wait a minute. If I if I cut the ECM free, I can just try and pull the entire system out. And yeah, I could just barge it all and just deal with the rest afterwards. But I think I will try to cut it loose. And yeah, see how well that goes or how disastrously that goes. Yeah, oh, I should probably answer uh, extra you can DM it to Hillian, and you, they can send it to me later, if, it, if it, it's a gift. Mm. Here we 
There we go. Just gotta make sure it doesn't impact anything too quickly. I am trying mm -hmm. to Im Im trying to, if, if it is the one I think of, I'm not sure if I can mimic okay. that kind of laughter. Well, that's that's useful. It came loose of its own. Uh, Technically, I, I, I think that should mean it should be melting down. Oh. But oh well, I'll take it. Oh uh, God! Okay, ten second long YouTube clip. Okay, that's more than doable. Okay, big risk here now is that this thing starts sparking and blows up the fuel. So, I'm going to take a little bit of a shield here. And Xterra <laughs> says, Barge it! <laughs> well, there it goes. <laughs> and when that happens, are we... Okay, I'm gonna try to do a loft. I think they're referring to... Probably gonna butcher it, so sorry in advance. Now I sort of... Now yes, I try to realize, I'm not sure if I can get the tone. <laughs> I got that badly. That sounded like a hag's laugh. <laughs> yeah, that, I'm sorry. I think I but I probably butchered it badly. <laughs> sorry. Transferring credit. Okay. I don't think I can get that the uh, wheeze, uh, whatever, whatever we call it. Okay. There. Okay. It'll always complain about that little bit of pipe, but oh well. There we go. And yeah, that's the... that's basically most of it done. Okay. Let's finagle you out. Okay. Zoop. There we go, still caught it. Okay. Now, I'm pretty sure if we dunk the rest of this into the processor, we'll probably hit the last of the marks. And for now, let's move you there. To not risk you going into the furnace. There. Let's see, you uh, could have bought the whole connected engine uh, 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 yeah, reactor engine assembly too. Uh, yeah, but that would have been a bit less fun. <laughs> I'm uh, just happy you're alive. Okay. There. Uh, Going inside. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> okay. Um, no. Hold on. Uh, take a look at the barge. Yeah, it's very, very full. <laughs> and a lot of the big ones are um, fuel. Actually, is this all processor? Yeah, a little bit of furnace stuff here. I'll cut that out. Of course, a tiny little bit is going to keep connected here. Okay, slow. I don't, I don't get why there's bits of this on this. It's annoying to try and cut off. Let's see, vast majority is processor, yeah. And it is typically that the processor stuff is ooh, is more valuable in general, or at least per uh, unit of weight. There we go. Are those two loose from each other now? Hmm. Like it. When I grab them, it doesn't highlight both of them. Hmm. But it does move both of them. Hmm. Probably because they're just moving up and rubbing along each other. Okay. So all of that finagling is just moving it all over the place. Fuel levels are low. Fuel supplies are 
Mm. Let's see, are there any... Yep, there is one more console there. There. Okay, there's a few more lights in one console, but... Out of tethers. <laughs> Really? You're angry about zero credits worth of scrap getting destroyed? What? What? Hmm. What got destroyed to be only worth zero? What? I'm the only one wondering that you're a bit confused? Yeah, it's just the game being a little bit janky still. Okay, pluck these out. There. Okay, only the emergency light still. Okay. Let's go get yeah, let's go get those tethers. And then we'll just toss what remains in the processor. See parts things that can get that get damaged too much because scrap worth peanuts. Uh, uh, it's, no parts things that get uh, th yeah. Basically yeah, if if something goes into the barge and it gets damaged too much to become scrap. Uh, worth peanuts. I wouldn't be surprised if peanuts are worth a lot here. <laughs> well, seeing as food goes for 900 credits. Yeah, let's not get a lot of things have become extinct. Okay. Uh, who knows? Peanuts may have become a r rarity, but it will harder to grow. Mm, likely. There are a few food shortages, that's for sure. Mm. I really like, cannot tell you know, hmm, if these bits are still attached or not. There we go, that proves it. Okay, well that saves me more cutting. I just not imagined for some reason Xterra opening an auction for the and starting a sale bid for one peanut for one million pounds. <laughs> one peanut some currency. There and there and there. Okay, that's all too heavy to be moved by one tether. But some strategic cutting should get it moving. There. And there. And there. Okay. Oh gosh, now we're gonna move on. Now we're doing something from Futurama. Oh. Uh, do you know who Dr. Soyberg is? Dr. Soyberg is? <laughs> Zoyberg, not Soyberg. Soyberg would probably be like his vegetarian cousin. Oh God! You, you know him, right? Yep. You, do you know what happened shortly after his uh, people arrived to Earth? No. And Shuvi even... went extinct. <laughs> But they kept eating them so much that they became addicted to it until the extinction. Yep. <laughs> that came out with a bit more force. Come on down. Okay, you. Wait, did I just. No. Uh, there it is. Okay, come on back. Got a rogue element going on. Yeah, they did it, Sarah. It was kind of part of the plot why apparently Fry found some answer we wanted to put into the pizza and he had to win a bid war for it. There and there. And okay. yeah, when Soito saw the anchovy and the pizza, <laughs> you can guess what happened. Yeah, he went ballistic. Actually, okay, no, do we need to cut this? Uh, how to describe it? 
I was gonna do a comparison with Hina, but I just realized I haven't seen how Hina reacts when he gets his favorite mushroom. <laughs> so it might be a fair comparison. Oh yeah, <laughs> a lot of sounds and uh, concern. <laughs> Especially go. when it eats up your us more. <sighs> oh. Okay. There we go. We hit the last milestone. That is the most important thing, actually. Because, well, everything, bet everything between the yellow and the red is basically just scraps at the moment. God. I, actually, <laughs> but didn't we talk about the adding the ROM to the things to watch list? We could, but we probably would be watching that for freaking decades at the, the rate we tend to go. Yeah, we had a good, decently great uh, to watch things, but then uh, we ended up having bonus streams. <laughs> Hello. Okay, bye bye. Let's see, any other scraps? Okay, anything glued to the back of the hab this time? Tiny little chunk. Oh, hello. There. Let's see. Nothing else of note. So. Actually, hmm. now I said we about it. Has anyone actually eaten pizza with Anshu was on? Probably. Wait, you you have? And yes, I did. I did find that uh, the thing glued to the back uh, X. Uh, that was specifically the picture I showed you like a few weeks back. <laughs> and that should be. Yep, that's another level. So let's see what shenanigans Ria Hell gets to up now. Okay, one and done. Okay. So how is Hell going to make our lives worse this day? You miss his name again. <laughs> You said hell. A uh, mistake I'll stand by, because working with him <laughs> is hell. Yep. Hello, ship breaker. You have one. Okay, is he going to suck up again? Rook, you hearing me? What happened out there with Kaido was garbage. Rhodes just constantly doubling down, pushing him. He's a bully. The only thing worse than corporate suits our middle management jerks who love stepping on everyone else. Just, just to climb the ranks. Even Weaver's given up. He knows Rhodes can do him in just like the rest of us. It's not right what's happening. And from what I see, none of us are safe. We need to do something. The other stations don't have it much better. This is going down everywhere. I'm not gonna stand by and let them kick us around like this anymore. We deserve better. Keep you posted. Out. Okay, good to see that her flame has been reignited. Yeah. Hello, ship breaker. This mm -hmm. is your morning wake up call. <laughs> Fun friend animals movie. Okay. Hmm. Listen up, y'all. Believe it or not, I'm a little nervous to bring this up. But I can't take Rose's crap anymore. None of us are safe, and we need to do something. You're not talking about this union stuff again, are you? Oh, you bet I am. What other option do we have? Lou? No. Hell no. I've seen these movements come and go, kid. They don't change a thing except get us regular folks into even more trouble. Yeah, hold up now. You sure about this, Lou? Sure as one can be, Weaver. He's even coming after you. You know that. After all you've done for them. The Union? I, I can't get into any more trouble. None of this is your fault. They're supposed to protect us. But the only thing they care about is their bottom line. So we need to hit them where it hurts. Hold your damn horses. Lou, what are you suggesting? If
It's called industrial action. A way to protest through our work. Look around you. We're expendable. We barely have a say in our futures. I admire your fire, kid. But this is too much. I can't risk this. I got family to look after. I'm out. Uh, I, I need to think about this some more. But I appreciate that you care, Lou. Damn it. They're just scared, Lou. I know where you're coming from, but is this really the right thing to do? Dang. Lou, I gotta go. Pal's coming up. Talk soon. Well, Rook, there has to be a point where enough is enough. And this is mine. I wanted the whole crew on board. But we can get support elsewhere. I'll contact the Union. I hope you'll be with us when it counts. Blue out. Okay, we're starting... We're approaching a climax with this. And, yeah. The, the thing is with it... Would it be, if it's cheaper for them to try and replace everyone here than it is to uh, yeah, well, the kind of damage that we can do. Uh, but yeah, I, I don't think they'll be able to get uh, new people up here before we yeah, basically just tank the bottom line enough if enough people were to join in. And yeah, basically that's how stuff with the Union go. They basically like... Mm. Strong arm, uh, <laughs> strong arm the company into well, acknowledging you, know, you and such by just well fucking up their bottom their profits and such. They can fire you, but uh, they're just <laughs> if they can't hire anyone who would uh, do the work in your steads for well, the same or less pay, then <laughs> it's going to hurt them. Plus. They need time to work people into the points where they could be of use. Yeah. Okay. As usual, practically all of it is done. Let's see. Cousin, my English is poor, but I'm sure it is still far superior to your Spanish. I hope this message finds you well up there in the stars. Are you still above us or living on a different planet by now? We cannot thank you enough for your immensely generous donations to our city. As you know, the many fires surrounding us are always burning and we ran out of proper masks months ago. The masks you send will help our people breathe again. Uh, thank you. As you also know, our universal basic income system has helped us provide our people with the very basics in terms of food, water and shelter, but a little else. The rising cost of healthcare has brought our, sims, our system to its knees. The credits you donated will help us treat and heal thousands. Thank you. Your madre would be very proud of you. Miss and love you, cousin. Okay, someone's been sending quite a lot if they've been able to help that many. Yeah, and Span... Welcome to the ship, Doctor. Let's fix that mm -hmm. ship up. Is Span a bit of a theme today? <laughs> Looks like it. Good job. In 40 years, maybe you can become a real doctor. Oh, shut up, shippy. Okay, we need a distributor and more wires. We are getting to the end of this bit. Though I think the last few are probably going to be rather difficult to get, or pricey. Uh, how's the equipment? Uh, let's see, nothing below 60. Can we buy anything else? Yep, purchase the cutter. That's another cost of the day done. Are we gone? Hmm. Okay, we bought those already. The scanner, we need level 20. And actually, 20, mi 20 might be the last one because there's nothing else later or after it. Hmm. Okay. I think I just broke my brain. No. I just tried to imagine how 40 key orgs me sound in Spanish and my brain mm. broke. Well, we could we could try putting uh, we could try putting retribution on Spanish language and see what that does. No, no, I'm just happy you didn't try the French part. Uh, you know, when I told you, I tried to imagine Oak speaking French, 
somehow broke my brain. Uh, let's see, X. Uh, the system goes to level 30, but nothing new is added past level 20. Okay. Oh, dear. Uh, for people who wonder what mm. I mean about, like... The French is a nice language, so is Spanish, also a lovely language. However, when, when I try to imagine some, uh, like, uh, dubs and such... Somehow, I, I struggle with the idea to hear Spanish coming out from uh, something like a 40k orc. Just so, something that my brain breaks. Okay, I, I, I think I'll just, <laughs> I think I'll try Retribution on Spanish and just see how the, <laughs> how the orc sounds there. Okay, we won't be able to finish this ship, but finishing it will get us to level 20. And of course, it is fully pressurized. Okay. Plus, we'll be able to get some useful bits out of this. Okay. Uh, I, I think I have a bad thing to say. Language like a French or Spanish does not sound like the language you would expect a book to speak, if that makes sense. Yeah. I'm now I'm curious what sort of accent they would put on that. Yeah, that's what that's probably what to make my brain freeze or break up. For I try to imagine how the accent will be in that language, and uh, yeah, it might be just uh, error. Okay, some fuel if we need it. Hmm. Too broken, too intact. Let's see. Petir, orc speaking is speaking Latin. You're welcome. Okay. Why what? No. No. Do they actually speak Latin, or you're just trying to break my brain? Da -da. Da -da. Are they trying to break me more? Let's see, some more supplies here. Hmm. I might collect all of these beforehand because they might go boom during depressurization. That's a new one. I can see Latin work well for orcs in other fantasy and such, but 40k or Warhammer fantasy orcs trying to speak Latin. Uh, uh, like mm. I have seen some yeah. someone try that with 40k with a fan faction the Orcarium <laughs> Yeah you broke him <laughs> uh, Oh hello That's <laughs> you're broken that is broken faction breaks my brain more like the oh god, the prime orc, the imperial Gretzkin. What? What happened? Why did I just speak with an accent there? <laughs> Extra. <laughs> okay, where is the nearest the access point? Closer. I have someone I want to introduce to you, Extra. Oh, there's a lot more here. Now, I'm well, mostly me... picking these up to remove them as an explosive hazard. Extera, allow me to introduce you to... Wackus Bunkus. <laughs> okay. Oh, hello. Thank you. Your donation is appreciated. <laughs> Swedish <laughs> reptile <laughs> bastards. <laughs> okay, that's the fuel dealt with. And there's the ECM. Or ECU. The ECM is more warfare stuff. Oh okay. no, full level 
I hate my brain at the moment. And ooh, I was I was expecting there would be an atmosphere control unit in here. Seems up yeah, I seems I screwed up again by pulling all the available ones off the walls already. Uh, of course, my uh, uh, Hillian, uh, have you heard of the band uh, Era? Uh, E R E or E R A or something? E R A. Can't say I've not. Here's one. Uh, they done some Latin music. It was very popular when we were younger. <laughs> I think they even become a bit, bit, bit of a meme as well. Like uh, Ameno, you... Do Rime. Do Rime. <laughs> okay, that's the. Uh, what would are those called again? I'm drawing a blank. Yeah, I. For, to, for those people who knew Era and the Wu song, Amen or Do Remem, thanks to Xterra, I just imagine Orcs trying to sing that. Do Re Me and such and such. Yeah, it's, a, it's a, like a, a, like a pre priestly choir group uh, to try to sing it. Now replace them with Orcs trying to sing it. <laughs> <sighs> Okay, let's depressurize this as well. Uh, yeah, th th there it is. There it is. Go ahead and read that hill. Yep, the orcs trying to sing Catholic hymns. <laughs> oh, God, stop. <laughs> Orc is throat singing. Again, we, specifically Warhammer orcs would be ter just horrified to try to hear them sing that. Books from other fantasy things probably do it hopefully fine, but 40k and Warhammer fantasy orcs? Oh god, no. Yeah, whilst, retra whilst re retaining the the uh, the accent. <laughs> okay. Oh god. There. Okay. I'm a bit surprised that four of those can push all of this mass. Let's see. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, that's actually been something we've been finding out is a bit of a misinformation or something. That's the whole, yeah. uh, if they believe it, that it will come through thing uh, isn't actually that accurate. Yeah, like, it's so, that's small proof. Small truth tweet probably is people have over exaggerated so much without realizing that many, many things people uh, some to actually start to believe it accidentally has never happened in lore. Yeah, right, like, I forgot, sweetie. The orc guns are like necro guns, you were like when the mechanics inspect the necro guns, they realize this shouldn't work. But it works. It shouldn't work. And they realize the same thing with orcs. This shouldn't work, but it works. Going to need to be a bit and, careful uh, with the radiation filter. The, the technology is... Uh, remember, orcs were once crooks, and they had once advanced technology. And now much of that, they sort of remember fragments of. So much of the orc takes are... Well, they're most junkyard versions of what they had once. So they're still advanced techs. In them? Yeah, they may be able to scan just a... Normally, the Imperial may not be able to recognize it as a scan that they may have, just because it's so, well, alien. Then, oh, there are aliens here. Yeah. Okay, it is still funny to think of them as a species that is just at once both stupid and in a different way smart enough to uh, bend reality like a pretzel. Yeah, even though that is a bit of a misconception, but yeah, do it again. The orcs who do those, these techs are limited, it's only most like the mech boys. Yeah, without mech boys, basically all you have is a bunch of... A bunch of green skinned... Uh, 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 let me pull you out quickly. A, a bunch of green skinned caveman. Oh, funny you should say that. Uh, okay, this is for Warhammer Fantasy now. I'm gonna bring out this up. 
There are a group called the Savage Orcs. And they only use sto stone and boon weapons. And okay. stick weapons. And there's a reason for that. Especially with why they also fight with loincloths, or as the book uh, codex has said, loincloth or worse. <laughs> or worse. <laughs> like, it's a th like it's an outright threat. Uh, I think they mean they may fight naked. Yeah. But the, the, the reason for not refusing metal weapons, armor is, is not orc enough. Of course. They, f they see other orcs as wimps and uh, they will, oh, you're using the new fangle metal thing. Uh, they still use rocks. So in a way, they're uh, orc, uh, orc Luddites. In... Uh, on that one, I guess, I'm not sure that might count. But the next thing I think. <laughs> but yeah, that's why they also paint themselves with, with uh, war paint, uh, for they believe uh, that it, uh, it has some protectiveness. But also where it is more aggressive than other orcs. Like almost all of them are in a way a berserker. Let's see, Mad Jack Churchills. Uh, oh, wasn't God. it the guy with the bagpipes in World War II? I'm not sure, but I can't, that might maybe fit sense considering the le main leader is uh, Warsack the Green Prophet. You ooh, some parts are not wanting to be together here. You're really not uh, wanting to stick together. Oh, gosh. And bloody all this talk about orcs and music, and I just still remember. Damn it. Now you may remember the damn thing about the bagpipe squig. <laughs> Let's see. The guy with bagpipes, a longbow, and sword in World War II. Yeah. Oh, I recognize that one. And they survived. Uh, yep. <laughs> Against all bloody logic. Yeah, do I have a heard apparently someone took down it's a tank wrong. with an axe? Yeah, more by just getting up onto it and uh, I forget if they just outright killed the uh, <clears throat> if they outright killed the crew by somehow getting in. Ooh, you are not going in there. <laughs> okay, that would make sense. They're also terrifying. Yeah, you, you see the attack, think you're all safe, then suddenly, somehow, a crazed axeman comes down the hatch. There's also a tale of a, a scout who managed to uh, who managed to liberate an entire uh, village by himself, basically on one big ass roaring rampage after his uh, colleague and friend got killed. Ooh, I'm so afraid, but also impressed. Sad over his loss, but also impressed over his feet. Yeah. Uh, the, you know what I would say, deed? Just because I feel like uh, trying to say feet. It. Yeah, if you uh, F E A T. Uh, wait, did I spell it? I spelled that right, right? F E A T. Yep. All right. I feel like that's easy to mishear when speaking to a mic. To, yeah. Uh, well, feet. Yeah, uh, uh, let's see. It's not simple history. Uh, there is a there's a YouTube channel who have made some videos about that somewhat recently or so. Compilations of uh, historical stuff. Uh, simple history. Aren't, uh, I think uh, simple history is more, more. Com simple history is a more comedic uh, uh, one. Still a good one for a good history as well, but put it a lot more funny. Uh, was it Yarn Hub or something else? I'm forgetting. Yarn Hub? Was... Never heard hmm. of that. There's one more bit here. Oh, gods. Well, it's full of madness, ain't it? Yep. In real life or in games? Yep. 
Okay, that bucked up. Okay. Down you go. Okay. Now, with most of the shell loose, we can get to work blocking everything off. Oh, God. I, I, yeah, my brain is uh, going all over the place. I know you imagine a orc trying to disguise themselves in a Spanish town. <laughs> okay. There goes one of the entire spines. Let's see. I recognize that line. I recognize that line. Where have I heard it before? X Files. No, no, no. That's that's not X Files. X Files is the truth is out there. Hmm. The truth is strange in the fiction. Oh, why I know. Okay, Xner, can you tell me where you have heard the phrase from? I feel like I need a, a kick to the thinking cog. <laughs> As a prison prover, okay. And I, I know I heard that from a documentary that like they used this as an opening thing. Now, I, th I think it's been used so much that finding out its uh, origins is going to be pretty difficult. I... I will not be surprised if that's the case. Okay. First time we've seen one with three of these filters, I believe. Yeah. Okay. There. That should do. Uh, let's see. Let me do a quick little search, see if I can find the channel I was thinking of. There. Yeah, I might think Close the enough. most provided uh, they are um, not loud or screamy. Uh, no. Here's me. Some YouTubers I gladly watch in the middle of the day and such, but some YouTubers I will avoid watching like one hour before bed. Since, yeah, some units can be rather loud and you don't want to disturb the neighbors when the building's supposed to be quiet. If that makes sense. Yeah. Okay. Um... Like, uh, okay, yeah, a good example. I love Jacksepticeye. Used to watch him a lot. But they were probably not a good idea to watch before bed. Okay, let me cancel those. Uh, let's see. Okay, no, it's not Yarn Hub. They're more of the 3D animation. The one I'm thinking of is mostly 2D, or entirely 2D. Sometimes a bit cheap looking, but functional at least. Oh, I think mm. I might know who you mean. Uh, is it the same team to do a lot of SCP videos as well? Yep. Oh, then I think I know who you mean. I, I watched them as well. Even though they are all kind, people are kind of investigating them at the moment. <laughs> X Terra, uh, two thirty a.m. Next door, you hear top of the morning to you. My name is Jack Septicai. Yeah, the, the, not exactly a good thing to uh, have playing out loudly. That you have neighbors That's in an apartment scary. building and all that. I can probably find them if I skim through my history for a bit. Okay, uh, but yeah, Xterra gets me. Like, some YouTubers you watch on the day or in the, uh, a maybe early evening and such, but, uh, some, but the uh, closer you get to midnight, the better you get some more calm YouTubers. Mm hmm. I don't like this, the louder type of YouTubers, anyways. <clears throat> uh, to me, to me, it okay. depends on what kind of loudness. Like, Yak, Yak kind of makes it work. But I have not seen some YouTubers that try to be loud, only for sake of being loud, and think that it's, it kind of comes off fake, if that makes yeah. sense. 
Yeah, yeah, if they're being works. loud because they're laughing and such, then it's a lot more understandable and tolerable. But if it's just screaming for the sake of screaming, like a lot of uh, uh, horror YouTubers, then yeah, bye bye. Yeah, it, probably why I like Yak and Multiplier for they're not screaming just for scream. They most of the time is a genuine reaction. But also they are kind of especially Yak was. I, mean, I think he has calmed down a little bit. He's no longer as hyper as he was before, but he, Jack was rather hyper. So it makes sense yeah. for him to be loud uh, in an organic way. Let's see, quick scroll. And yeah, I might I'll head back. I'll also do a scroll to see if I can spot them in <clears> here. <throat> uh, ta -ta -ta -ta. Gotta be careful yeah. that I don't just smack into this. I think I actually forgot the most YouTubers who were f fakefully loud. I forgot the names. Probably for a good reason then. Uh, let's see, where is any of this? I've been watching a lot of skit stuff, so there's a lot of in the history. Uh, and then there's also just the fact that for some reason they count autoplayed stuff that you aren't even actively looking at as being in your history for some reason. Um, okay, all of that Batman contingency stuff, kind of funny, but not re what I'm looking for. Okay. Um, no, it's not extra history. They do good history stuff as well, but they are not the ones I'm thinking of. Yeah, I think I know who you mean for... If it the ones that have done the ACP content as well, uh, then I may have seen the one with the Axeman. There were probably, I think I, did, I put it on Elysian in the background and it got distracted and missed a lot of it, so I'm probably gonna need to rewatch it properly. Hmm. Let's see this. So Where is I should the probably say this, the, the, one, the one you I think you talk about might be people try, may try to investigate them for something that might be an issue. Now, yeah, there, there is. There is always a possibility that places like that are a bit of a content farm. You are not going in there. Yeah, that's the thing, uh, content farm. Uh, I know the many people, YouTubers within the SP group, I noticed, I realized that they might be content farmers. Yeah. He it's gonna make me sad. Burners let that go. Hmm. It's a witness and a cell. But, uh, God damn it! They must have gotten shoved at some point. I, I should have, <laughs> I should have cleared those out a lot, a lot earlier. Like the moment they came loose. Oh well. Oh God. I actually forgot to focus on the game. Or else I probably would have warned you about that. Okay, it must have been quite. Oh, ghost! Ghost! Hmm? There was a shattered ghost on the ship. Uh, probably our own shadow. And okay, looks like I might have had it correct the first time that the channel is called. Uh, oh, now remember, yeah, the channel is called Simple History. The other one, the more comedic one that I was thinking of, that's <laughs> that's oversimplified. Ah, uh, yeah, I like oversimplified. The only thing I don't. I I don't watch them in evenings because for another reason. Yeah, like, they can they also be a bit loud. Ooh, uh, nice. Yeah, they can be loud, but not too often. Probably it's more, I usually have to pause the video a lot to read the extra bit they put up on the screen. Yeah. There we it's, go. I'm fine with Probably it's, I don't want to have to deal with that when I'm about to uh, have that one hour before bedtime. Drink. Let's get you moving. Uh, from Xterra. Oh, there you are, ghost ship. Yeah, we, oh, we have dealt ship. with a few of those. A small one and a full-sized gecko. Yeah. But it, it was actually a lot more manageable than I thought, especially after I just spaced all the uh, compartments whilst they were decomp uh, decompressed. <laughs> then they could not screw around with the pressurization anymore. 
And well, the doors I just went around. Oh dear. So yeah, the, the, the ghost ships are more about being unnerving than actually scary. Yeah, in my experience. Those AIs can be a danger with how they feel with things. Uh, let's see. The problem is that the core, uh, uh, when cores are on reactors and tanks, yeah, that was. We we had a fuel on a, his, the smaller fuel tank, so I just chucked that thing into the furnace. No, oh, yeah. Them being on the reactor, that would be a real problem because then you would need to find an angle where you just cannot hit the reactor at all with whichever cutter mode you're using. Yeah, did you accidentally hit a pipe when trying to destroy a uh, node? Yep. Because, yeah, when you use this thing and you aim it at nanocarbon, it refracts that, like that. Which is not good, of course. Some furnace stuff, but not enough to be worth really removing. Okay. Wait, what the? Already? Almost time. Yeah, I should look at the clock and realize, oh, we have five minutes remaining. Okay, going to tear this one out. Yeah, yeah, shut up. We need that for something else, a personal project. Okay, yeah, a bit more cut than wanted, but nothing destroyed. Okay, Ooh, let's not destroy the other one entirely. Okay. Let's see. If you're mighty careful with your stinger, you can burn the fuckers off. Yeah. But, hmm. It would, you have to be really freaking careful with it. Okay. You get going. And you. There. Okay. There's still one more fuse somewhere. Let me see. Oh, gosh. I just know imagine there. that damn thing going back and hitting you. Uh, wait, 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 wait. I saw something. I saw something. Next to you. Hello? Uh, no, no, don't you dare. No? No? Okay. No? I'll send it to <laughs> Earth. I think you sent it to Mexico. <laughs> uh, let's see, X. Uh, when it comes to the stinger, usually you have to have the object red hot before it blows, yeah. I guess you could do it by just uh, doing quick little bursts like this until it completely is destroyed. When it gets to the end of uh, its l <clears throat> its destruction. Uh, I thought, did that bottle look like a salsa bottle? I think it was supposed to be a, a liquor bottle. All right. So, wait, we, we are, are we on the Earth side at the moment? Yeah, that you that is Earth the... down there. It's just uh, a little bit flooded. Oh, yeah. Uh, a little bit lots. Oh, yeah, you did send it to Mexico. <laughs> now, let's see. Now you gotta lance the fucker like it's a G2 uh, point. Okay. <clears throat> lance? No. Like this. Or, no, this is the spread cutter. Uh, can we act? I think we can move this entire bit in one piece. It's too late, and now I'm thinking of Don Coyote. <laughs> the knight who mistook windmills for giants. Let's see. I think they were actually based on a real life person. Oh, they were a real life person. They were, okay. they were, like they were one of the last knights. And he actually died when he actually attacked a windmill with a lance. 
Okay, that's most of that. We can do the reactor next time, so, because we're about to hit two hours anyways. Uh, two lands, two, is two piers. Okay. Alright. Okay. Let's see, are we going to get more info on what Lou is up to? Oh, come on! You, you were like very tiny bit away from getting the next step. Okay, that wouldn't have been enough for another level, though, I think. Let's see if we get some progress all the same. Gesundheit. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, oh, hello. Gather up. I got something to share with you all. A real treat. Now, he found out about the union. We'll come to that. Now, I'm going to read a message I acquired last night. <clears throat> to group undisclosed, as has been occurring in salvage yards across the colonies, our team has been struggling with an administrator who is oppressive, petty, and cruel. This official puts our safety at risk and assaults the mental health and well-being of our team. You do. These clear tactics of oppression are being used to undermine the strength and will of our crew. Huh. We need to show Lynx and the world <laughs> that we are not without power and we will no longer tolerate being treated as less than human. Industrial action would show Lynx that we control the means of their profit. Action is hope, solidarity is strength, your colleague in solidarity, Lou. Carnegie Station. Where's Lou? Heading back where she belongs. You gone way out of line here, Hal. This is my crew, and I say who stays and who goes. Save it, Joseph. I've shared all this with headquarters. And now, I've got one last thing. A message from Rye Paulson herself. I strongly encourage you all to pay attention. To all employees of Link Salvage Division. Is this the signal now is the new one? Important update on our effort to safeguard you from predatory union organizers. We have received disturbing information of a plan to commit a terrible act of violence by this group. In these <laughs> drastic times, it is our duty to take drastic measures. For this, we turn to Clause 19C of your work agreement. Clause 19C stipulates that anything produced by Lynx equipment is the sole property of Lynx Corporation. Including the clones. This clause applies to the genetic assets produced by our Everwork technology, otherwise known as spares. Beginning today, Lynx Corporation will immediately assume control of all individual rights and liberties of its employees. This will allow us to greatly restrict the spread of union activity and protect our precious workforce. You entrusted yourself to us, and we will keep you safe from harm. Thank you. This is ludicrous. First you push the hazard levels on us, then you stop us from training. You take Dee Dee's comms away, you bully Kaido, Lou disappears, and now this. This is beyond. It's all right there in your contract, Joseph. Now, as your corporate representative, Curzon, your financial account with Numanilla Credit is being turned over to Lynx. Recurring transfers there will be stopped immediately. 52, that vehicle parked outside your half is now Lynx property. I've sent a talk to retrieve it. No, 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 no. You can't do that. That was my personal property. I gave that to Muted. And don't think I haven't seen you scrounging parts on the job, 52. That's theft, kiddo. And it stops now. Please. My family. Please. Look, this is all temporary. Bullshit. Until this union stops.
stuff gets sorted. Disagree and commit, people. Now, since we're down a person, you're all gonna have to pick up the slack. Chop, chop, folks. These ships aren't breaking themselves. I'll see you all in the yard. Roads out. And that's Act 2 complete. Ugh. Sorry if that was audible, but... The yeah, this is one reason I was n nervous about returning to this game. The problem that they're make, you know, doing now is, well, I believe it was said in Star Wars, the tighter you, uh, the tighter you grip, the more slips through your fingers. And, well, for one, Lou has, well, unless she's been just outright killed, uh, uh, she has absolutely nothing to lose now. So she, they are treating the union, you know, pe you know, the effort to unionize like it's some sort of terrorist threat. The problem is, uh, yeah, Lou could just go full-on terrorist right, right now on their asses. So I'm going, not going to be surprised if uh, a yard out there just plain up explodes. It, not only that, they literally, without saying it, confirm that they are now enslaving people. Yeah, well, they were already quote-unquote unofficially enslaved, but now they are just not even trying to hide it. Yeah. They just hide it behind fancy words. I think people are not gonna be st are too stupid to realize that. Okay. Yeah, I, I'm pissed. Yeah, I, I'm really freaking hoping that we can just airlock. Uh, yep, you were enslaved from minute one. Yeah, just wasn't. Uh, they weren't admitting it at least. Uh, I really hope we can introduce hell to an open airlock. Uh, it's actually laid out in that contract at the very start of the game, yeah. Okay, <laughs> here I thought we were getting close towards the end of the game. I'm guessing the last 10 of the levels are going to be Act 3 then, if there is not an Act 4. But yeah, that'll have to wait for next time. So for now, we save and quit. And yeah, I, I I fully hope that Hell ends up completely dead from this in a quote unquote accident of sorts. Hell. Hell. We call him Hell it. again. I will not blame you for calling him Hell for. Uh, yeah, it, it is a bit on the play. nose, but it it does get the point across. It's very on the nose. It's so much on the nose that they basically hitting you in the face with a stop sign. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. Uh. We'll have to see how that goes, though, next time. But for now, we are going to look for someone to raid. So, oh, I did not mean to close the preview. I just wanted to remove the always on top bits. Uh, can I restore that? Hopefully it's the same size. No, it is not. I'll have to readjust that then. Uh, let's see. Browser. Change the screen share so Drakir can see. And let's have a look. Okay, there's a, there's a lot of people on, so let me narrow this down. We have... Uh, we've raided Lashers recently, so I'd say they're off the list. <clears throat> Pardon? <clears throat> we have Jimmy McGinger, who is playing Mother. Uh, we have... Doug Douglas McDog, who is playing Silent Hill 2. And let's see, anyone yeah. coming here? We, as I said, we, we have already raided Redacted Cat today. Yeah, and Lashers recently. Uh, okay, maybe any of the. Uh, no, I don't. Actually, Katie120, they're streaming Ratchet and Clank. Uh, okay. Any of those three, or any others that you see here that would be of interest? Mm. Or shall I take a pick? I will let you take a pick. Let's see. Well, let's go meet someone new, or try something new again. Katie 120 wait, wait, I, with Rest and Clank. I actually have someone we can raid. Mm, I just realized. What? We can raid Xterra's Fridge. <laughs> That's going to be a bit more difficult. Uh, but yeah, 
<laughs> Copy the name, head to our channel, and slash rate paste. Yeah, the reason I think, again, it is, this game is on the nose with it, but there are plenty of companies that, in my mind, are actively trying to work towards something similar, where they are just, if you aren't working for them, you're basically enslaved to them. There, there's... There's been some companies that have been pushing to try and build company towns again, where you would get paid in company credits, which would only be able to, well, spend at shops in the company town. Basically just, yeah, not giving you a damn thing. Yeah, Tesla. Uh. Wait, and they... Oh, no, I'm pissed. Are they actually tainting the good name of uh, Tesla himself? Yep, that's what Musk has been doing since day one with that, I'd say. Like, it is a good thing that they've been working on electronic cars, but Musk's ego and just plain stupidity have done way more damage to the... the they basically stained the entire uh, company and such. Like, I'm, I'm pretty... I'm pretty sure, like, with basically most of the companies, he has quote-unquote founded. And yes, I was doing air quotes with that. Uh, no, he just bought them out and just then just slapped his name on there as if he was the founder. Oh, poor level. Yeah. Think, like, Tesla himself's probably turning his grave and weeping over this. Probably. Uh, but enough on that, because we're already... <laughs> 10 minutes over like these typically do go for 10 minutes afterwards anyways uh but yeah let's see tomorrow maybe multiplayer something necessity deep, deep rock galactic likely no uh, borderlands because we still need to do well we we've been doing tests with borderlands with uh, liz and rom to see how now if we've been able to fix the latency issue or lag whatever it's actually calling and causing it's been lessened but it's not been fixed so we need to continue on that so yeah maybe something multiplayer if uh <clears throat> if your friends are up for deep rock galactic we could definitely do that if uh rom and liz aren't yeah yeah i have some friends uh, that people have met like leisure boy but i may have mm -hmm. one more do, yep. They probably would join, but are freshly out of bed. So, <laughs> okay, all the more reason, all the more chance for shenanigans. <laughs> but yeah, that'll have to be for tomorrow, Tuesday and Thursday. We will continue with uh, Shanak Heroes and maybe get a start on Star Wars Dork Forces if we manage to finish with Heroes. Uh, say that again. Star Wars Dark Forces. Oh, it sounds like you said dork forces at first. <laughs> well, Star Wars is a nerdy thing, and dork is still a word that's was actually I don't think it's used anymore. But <laughs> dork wars, dork track. <laughs> but yeah, uh, we'll see when we get to that. But for now, let's get that raid started. Finally, no block. That's good. And yeah. Thank you everyone who's watching now or later. And <clears throat> thank you, Xterra. Thank you. Uh, let's see. Any lurkers? No lurkers, sadly. Oh well. And thank you as always, Drakir. You're welcome as always, my friend. And thank you all for watching here on Twitch or on YouTube. <laughs> and yeah, until next time, have a nice day. And until then. Be safe, everyone, and watch out for undead seagulls. And well, middle management. Oh, God.